His Excellency, my good old friend, Oliver Grinson, Chairman of the Arctic Circle, Her Royal Highness Victoria, Crown Princess of Sweden, Prime Ministers, Ministers, Leaders and Representatives of the Indigenous Communities, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to all of you. It is very good and also wonderful for me to be back in Reykjavik for the ACA again. This is my fourth appearance at this very important Arctic Forum. I'm also very happy to see many new faces. I have many familiar faces and also many more new faces in the audience. This means that the ACA has gained a strong traction among the Arctic fraternity as well as people from further afield. I have spoken at many Arctic fora, and I think that many of you are now quite familiar with the Singapore's interest in the Arctic. The environmental implications of a melting Arctic are immediate priorities for us. As a low-lying maritime nation, Singapore's fate is inextricably linked to the oceans and the environment. It is therefore against this backdrop that we see much synergy with the Arctic Council's work and that of its current chair, Iceland. Iceland's overarching theme of sustainable development and priority areas such as the oceans and climate change are issues close to our hearts in Singapore. Given the existential implications of climate change in Singapore, we adopt forward-looking domestic mitigation measures, including being the first Southeast Asian country to introduce a carbon tax earlier this year with no exemptions for any industry. I was told that probably we are the only country to do so so far. This is a very, very painful but necessary action to mitigate climate change. When I say painful, because we are going to have elections within the next one and a half years, and nobody likes new taxes. We also take a long-term view towards climate change and also adaptation, spending around 1.8 billion Singapore dollars to boost our flood resilience capabilities in the last, in the last few years. And we are going to spend another $400 million in the next two years to upgrade our drainage systems to make them more robust. In much the same way, we also invest heavily towards understanding the oceans and contributing towards its sustainability. For example, we recently launched a $10 million national sea level program for scientists and researchers to develop more robust sea level projections. We are also concerned with the growing problem of marine litters and marine plastics, which accounts for over 70% of the marine debris and have in place, we put in place regular, uh, regulations to encourage appropriate use and disposal of plastics in Singapore. And to this end, we partner Norway and Arctic Council member states to conduct marine litter management programs for participants from the Asia Pacific region. More broadly, Singapore has always been a cornerstone, uh, sustainability has always been a cornerstone of Singapore's development journey and also central to the idea of we being a city in the garden today. So we are pushing towards a circular economy to prepare for a resource-constrained future and have to this end declared 2019, that is this year, as a year towards zero waste. So excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm also very happy to know that Iceland seeks to strengthen the Arctic Council through cooperation, including with observers, countries like us. As one of its chairmanship priorities, this is encouraging, as partnerships are key to a robust global response towards climate change. And Singapore is committed to the valuable work of the Arctic Council. And we will continue to raise awareness of the Arctic issues in the Southeast Asia region. And with this very fragile ecosystem already experiencing a rise in the temperature twice as fast as the rest of the world, we must all dub double down on our efforts to protect this very precious Arctic. And ladies and gentlemen, I think we must take action now before the Arctic becomes the tropic. And conversely, from our part of the world, that is the tropical area, we don't want the tropic 
to become the new Arctic. So thank you very much.